again. I'm John Shannon. Thank you for watching this program. Today's lesson uh, taken from Psalm 1, 1 through 3. Uh, we call it a picture of a saint. Please stay tuned. We appreciate all of you being here today, especially you who are not members of the body of Christ. Thank you for coming. Have you, <clears throat> do you know what a saint look like? Are you a saint? Are you sure? This morning we want to talk about <clears throat> a picture of a saint. And we're going to deal with three verses this morning. Um, and I hope that this lesson will help build you up in your Christian walk. Um, God has blessed us again to, to be here. Um, many times we take it for granted that we're going to live every day. One of these days uh, we won't be here. We will be checked out. A lot of members of the body of Christ, many times they stray, they swerve. Um, they don't be faithful and they, right at the end, I, I pray often that I don't go run this race and then get at the end and quit. And I want to encourage you today, don't let uh, the devil calls you to quit. If he can get you quitting, in other words, if you got to take medication and you know the medication is helping you, you don't need someone telling you don't take your medicine. You, you please listen to me. Because the medicine is what holds you, sustains you. And I want to tell you today, I want to encourage you, don't don't give up on the Lord. Watch it. You can lean on him. Sometimes things get a little rough, but don't give up. They hang in there. Now, this morning, in the, and, and let, let me say, we have a few little things, just a few more things to say about tonight, about this church. This is a good church, and I appreciate this church, the men and the women and everybody that does anything in this church. We appreciate you. You're vital. Appreciate Brother Joe Mosley. Yes, the job he did um, yes, Lord's Day and our new sister in Christ. Yes, we'll be Amen. noticing that in a moment. But we appreciate this church as a whole and want to encourage uh, everybody. Yes, and if you know some members who are not here, <laughs> call them, encourage them, try to get them to come back uh, if they want to come back and and be restored. Is that good? Yes, now, now this morning here, uh, I see my time is moving on here. Taken from the book of Psalm 1, 1 through 3. Uh, Rico, will you put that up there? Psalm chapter 1, 1 through 3. Pretty good? Now, let's stay with me now. We're going to read this text. Together here. Amen. That's pretty good. Let's stop it right there a moment. David said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. And because he did all of that, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. 
That's a little simple. But it's packed yes, with good stuff. Now let's let's look at it. Now I want to do it real simple. I want to make it where you can get this. Okay. Let's look at this. First we're going to talk about look at this. Number one a saint's path. Everybody here travels a certain path. Everybody's doing something in a certain path. In other words, it's travel. Which way are you traveling? You say that you're a saint. You ought to be traveling the straight and narrow and the glory land way. All right, we're going to look at a saint a saint's path is travel. Then we're going to look at number two, a saint's pleasure. What thrills you? Talk to me, somebody. What thrills you? Good. Then we're going to look at a saint's prosperity, his treasure. Brother Bullock, that's pretty good. Here. Pretty good. Here. Oh, God said, now, don't worry about all this over here, but we, we'll get to all of this here. Uh, separated from the world, that's very hard to do. Yes, sir. To be separated from the philosophies and the stuff of the world. Yes, sir. We're in the world. How can we be in the world yet separated from the world? It's a mind thing. Right. Then we're going to look at satisfied with the word. That's, all right. That's good, isn't it? Yes, sir. That's good, son-in-law. Then we'll look at situated by the water. Yes, sir. Now, Brother Fox, I know you can preach that. Amen. I know you can. And you guys looking at it, and I, I want y'all to listen. The way I preach and teach is for you to get it and run with it and teach somebody. I don't try to do stuff that's so complicated you can't do. Anybody in here, if you can read and you got any kind of sense at all, you can teach this. You can take and teach it. You young girls and young boys, you can do it. I don't see my little girls here, the three musketeers I call them. I don't see them here, but huh, the, the white, the white, is that what I, they can do. Well, let's go down here. A saint will not continue, watch it now, to listen to ungodly men. We, we have to watch ourselves. Let's, listen here. Blessed is the man that walketh not. Mm. Not, not, not in the counsel of the ungodly. In other words, a saint will not continue to, to listen to that stuff. Right, now, now I, I want you to listen here. I, I got some stuff over here that may be a little, little difficult, but it's not really because... We have some scholars in the audience here. We have a man by the name of Charles Darwin. You ever heard of Darwin? Charles Darwin was born, he was a very smart man, born in 1809. I think he lived to get 73 years old. But he came out with a book called The Origin of Species. So what Darwin says was that really and truly man Evolved from the monkey. <laughs> That's right, no way. Some of us may act like monkeys, but we didn't come from a monkey. <laughs> hey, 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 man. Is that all right? Stay, stay with me now. That was his theory. Now, let, let me point this out. There is no science of origin. I need, you need to listen to this because our kids are going to school, colleges and universities, 
and they are getting higher learnings. And these so-called professors, uh, they're atheists. Uh, and they said, we evolved. And a lot of them, they, they have a lot of powerful arguments, but it's some basic things you don't know you'll fall for. Right. And that's what's happening to a lot of our children. Right. You see, if you tell a man he came from a monkey, came from a lower class uh, uh, animal, that's where you're going to act. And that's where a lot of us are acting. Right. But we're made in the image of God. Right. Now, you got it? So there is no... Science of origin. If a scientist is worth his salt, he will admit there is no science of origin. The, what we know is Genesis 1 1 in the beginning. Rico, I want you to turn to the book of Matthew uh, 9 19 4. Amen. Some of that stuff is not on that sheet there. Now watch this now. I want you to get this now. The Bible says, And he answered and said unto them, Have you not read? Yes, sir. Make it plain, preacher. Yes, sir. Have you not read that he which made them yes, sir. at the beginning yes, sir made them male and female. They didn't evolve from nothing. God made them male and female at the beginning. Now this is not talking about the beginning of the cosmos of the world, but he's talking about the beginning of the creation of man. He made them male and female at at. You can't get no edder than it. At the beginning. We didn't evolve from nothing. And boy, I tell you so much that I could go on, but I don't want to go that way now. But I want you to, but so that's what you call atheistic evolutionists without God. Atheistic. They leave God out of it. But we have some brethren in the church of Christ and a lot of denominational people they're called theistic evolutionists. Well, what do you mean theistic? They say man did evolve, but God caused it to evolve. But that's not what the Bible says. The Bible said he created them at the beginning, male and female. And Adam was never a boy. He made, God made him grown from the beginning. Eve was never a baby girl. They were born full grown and they could produce. Yes, sir. Preach, Brother Sam. Yes, now that's either true or false. Lick your finger. <laughs> Got to do this. Rico. Colossians 2 8. Hey, Amen. This is good, isn't it? Y'all need to write this down. Hey, Amen. Colossians 2, verse number 8. All right, can we do that? All right, brother Fox, read it. Beware. Look, look at it. Look, I'm talking. Li listen to you, young people. Beware. Watch out. Beware, lest any man spoil. See the word "spoil." That means to rob. Right. Yes, sir. Rob you through what? Philosophy. Philosophy and vain and deceit. vain deceit after the after tradition, tradition of men. Of men after and the rudiments, after of, the the rudiments world, of this world and, and not, not after, after Christ. Christ. That's all that is. Right. Now this guy right here, he, he got the Bible in his hand, but he said, well, maybe God did use evolution to bring it in. No, he didn't. Right. God started the world off. Listen to me. He started this world off with a miracle. Yes, sir. Right. And when he, after he did that, everything God made from the beginning, he made it Watch it. It was a miracle. Yes, Listen to me. Listen to me. And when he made man, he put the seed in woman and man so they could pre pre-produce. Right. That's the way it's been going on. Yes, when God made an oak tree, it was full grown producing oak, right. oak, oak nuts there. Right. You got me? Please listen. Everything he made, he made it full grown. Right. Then he used seed to keep it going. Right. 
Yes, sir. Every, every seed brings seed after the kind. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. That's good. Yes, sir. And don't let them spoil you with that. Now watch this here. A saint will not continue to listen to ungodly men. Watch this now. I heard you this morning, son. You had a good lesson. Amen. When you have a marriage problem, where you go? Why do you want to go to heathens like these right. for you to tell you some crazy stuff? Right. Lick your fingers and go to Psalm, 1, Psalm 14, 1 through 3. Yes, Please listen to me. Yes, You're having all kind of problems in your life, and we think, watch it, the psychologists and, and, and the psychiatrists and our brethren, do you believe the Bible? Amen. 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 The Bible says in Psalm 14, 1, look what it says. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Mm -hmm. Somebody said God is dead. I ain't heard nothing about him being sick. Let right. known dead. Right. <laughs> Amen. He upholds all things by the word of his power. Somebody said, well, you can't see him, you can't feel him, he doesn't exist. You don't believe that. Right. You don't believe that. Let me tell you something, good people. Let me show you, something. there's a way to prove things without even uh, going into detail. Sometimes you folk driving down the interstate, I look at the interstate over there all the time. I don't see those pistons in those cars going up and down. Right. And I don't see that transmission and read, I don't see none of that stuff turning. Right. But I'll guarantee you, it's moving. Right. <laughs> it's moving. Right. Yeah. That's right. I'm looking at all of you out here, right? I don't have my hands on none of you. But I guarantee you, your heart is beating. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to feel. If I see you batting your eyes and holiday, man, and talking, your heart is beating. Right. Your, right, you don't take nobody that smart. It, it's common sense. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. I, I don't want to get too far from that. But anyway, now, uh, um, a saint will not continue to linger with sin for me. Right. Listen, not stand it in the way of sinners. Many times, saints spend too much time with crazy sinful people. Right. What? Wait a minute. Now, you say you're a saint? You you spending too much time with them people across the track. Right. Honoring neighbors down by the creek. Let me tell you something. They'll mess you up. Right. Please listen. Who do you spend most of your time with? I just don't understand it at all. I can't. I just Joe. Just I just surprised. I can't understand. You, you ever know a rich man? You don't see him running with poor folk all the time. <laughs> A rich man ain't never trying to be like a poor man. Right, right. <laughs> Don, is that right? Who ever seen a rich man trying to be like a poor man? Well, what's your point? We are rich with spiritual blessings. Yes, Why we want to mess with the sinful people right. who don't have these blessings? Right. Keep running with sinful people. They don't have nothing to offer to you. This is all it is trouble. Wait a minute. Now, now think about it. You, you're saying you get some of the best teaching in the world right. when it comes to talking about eternity. Right. And if you leave here and you start messing with these, the way of sinners. Now, the way of sinners, let me tell you, they got a lot of ways. And they listen here, they, they know how to work on you. Right. They know how to capture you. Some of them may got you last night. Did you run, in, run with any of them last night? They'll mess you up. Let me tell you something. They'll mess you up. They'll have you thinking messed up. Right. Well, then, then we says, listen here. A saint will not continue to locate with the scorn for me. Wait a minute. You just can't fool with certain people. No, wait, wait a minute. Hold it. Let, let me just ask that little thing. If you go somewhere and, 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 and uh, they switching wide. You, 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 brother Joe, you and Jackie go somewhere and you get there to a party and you didn't know and say, well, this is a, this is a party where we switch mates. Swing it. Brother Patty, you act like you know about it. <laughs> oh, 
know. Oh, he told off himself. He, he, he told on himself. Then he points it. That's what Wesley says. What, what, uh, now, 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 listen to him. If, if you went there now, Joe, and, and that's what they call swinging, is that what they call swinging? Swingers. Brother Petty, you going swinging. Well, but now watch this. If you and Jackie go to a place like that, well, and, and you both of you say, well, they're that, swinging here. Now, listen here. What you want to hang around there and right. trying to talk them out at fool? Right. You know what you need to do? You don't need to talk no Bible in there. You need to get out of there. Because so they're getting ready to swing. And they'll have you swinging and Jackie swinging. Wait, wait a minute. Look here. Don't locate. Don't locate with them. There's some place. Wait a minute. You go to a place where they're shooting dice. Shooting dice. You know how they, how, you know how they do it. But like you remember the bullhorn? Shooting dice. Look here. And then got them one, one stacked up in hand. You going, where you going? I'm, I'm just learning how, and you better get out of there. <laughs> right? You men, you don't have no men going to a script joint. Oh, it's somebody. I, brother Sam, you, what you know about it? Man, I'm not seven years old. I've been a lot of places. Right. Rico, you know about them girls on them on them strings going around, Woo! them heels on. Wait a minute, you don't have no business going there. You need to come out of there, man. Look here. Well, Rico said, "Well, the Lord is with me." You know he ain't. Hey, amen. Is that right? You you can't do that. All right, now you, you got to stay away from that, right. right? They ridicule, scornful, they ridicule, run their mouths yes, sir. about godly stuff. Yes, sir, yeah. Look at Proverbs quickly here. Proverbs 4 and verse 14. Look what it says. Enter not in the paths of the wicked and go not in the way of the evil men. Do we understand that? That's God. Wait a minute. You want to know how God talked to us? Hey, he talked to us right now. Right. Some place you don't have no business going. All right. Then it says, uh, look, look, avoid it. Do you know what avoid means? Wait, 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 wait a minute. I got to make it practical. Here's somebody right here fighting. Here's somebody fighting, and you want to go over there and stand around. I'm going to see what they fight about. Man, get away from there. Read about it in the paper. Don't go in there. Pass not by it. No, we ain't gonna want to pass by. We want to look. You ever see guys have a wreck? That was wreck over there. And everybody stop and they call him rub, rubber neck. And yes, he got, yes, right. turn from it, pass away. All right, for they sleep not. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Our communities are loaded with these kind of people. Yes, sir. They sleep not. I'm time I get up and look down Jane Road, 2.30 in the morning, they walking up and down the road. <laughs> they ought to be asleep. Right. All right? Look here. Except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. Right. Does that sound like our community? Yes, Does that sound like Memphis? That's why Brother Fox doing all that overtime. Yep. Amen. <laughs> For they eat the bread of wickedness. All they eat is study is crazy stuff. Right. Now, saints, stay away from that stuff. Yes, and drink the wine of violence. Yes, Look at that. It, I, I tell you what, such waters, and you know I'm right. Uh, uh, you scared to go anywhere at night and scared to open your door at night because you don't know what these folk will do. And your neighbors over there, you saw them grow up with his little bitty kids grew up. You better not let them in your house now. They'll do anything to you now. Because we, we are violent. Hey, hey, man. Look here. But the past of the just is as the shining light. You're a saint? 
need to walk where it's light is. Walk in light. Then it says, that's shining more and more unto the perfect day. All right? Let's go on here. The way of the wicked is as Jesus said, me and love dogs that rather than light. Right. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wicked stuff. Night. Yes, they know not at what they stumble. Hmm. Right? Good. Let's go a little further here. Go on down, Rico. We're going to go on down. I, 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 it's really to 27. Now we, we, I'm, I'm on school here. Today. You're going to be all right. He's going to be all right. He thought I was going to stop there. We're going to do it all the way. That pretty good? good? Look at verse 20 now. Pretty good? All right, we're going to look at verse 20. All right, when you get it, uh, Brother Fox, I want you to read it. What did it say, verse 20? My son. What? Attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my saying. Wait a minute. Please listen. Everybody in order, listen. Uh -huh. You need to listen to God. Yes. Guide you in this world. Right. You're a saint. God want to take care of you. Amen. God don't want nothing happen bad to you. But if you're a hard head and a knuckle head and you're going to do what you want to, these things are going to hurt you. Amen. Now, you young girls, you need to listen. Please listen. It can, you can help. Listen, you can save some money. You can save some headaches. You ain't going to buy no medicine if you just listen to the Lord. <coughs> Read on, Fox. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Read it. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. Wait a minute. God said, what I'm telling you, keep it in your head. Right. He told you about these bad people. He said, avoid them. All right, keep reading. For they are life unto those that find them and health unto all their flesh. Wait a minute. You won't know why some people in the church, they, they, they look like they just get better and better. They listen to what God said. Right. Some places they don't go. You know, you got some kin people in your family. You better not go around. I mean, you got some brothers and sisters, and even sometimes your mom and dad. You can't go around. Why? They too much drama. I mean, he said, she said, and next thing you know, you be fighting among kin people. Stay away from them. Keep on reading. Keep thy heart with all diligence. Wait, wait a minute. Your heart. You better be careful the stuff you let go in your head. You, young people, please listen to me. Please listen, young people. And, you know, sometimes people just, they, 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 they just don't learn unless they experience it. Now, listen, I, I've been in jail, Fox, but it was to see somebody. <laughs> I, I've been in prison. I've been at Fort Pillar Prison Preaching, preaching, preaching in there. They had me up there at Fort Pillar preaching. Right? I, I wasn't going there. And see, I, I wanted to hurry up and get out of there. Man, I ain't saw so much iron in my life, man. I said, no, is that good? Listen to me. Now, I, I've been there, but I don't want to stay there. Now, I'm trying to help you young people. Sometimes, once you get in jail... You don't know how well you had it made to, yeah. mm -hmm. until you yeah. until it's taken away from you. Right. Wait, wait, I don't need to go to jail to know that it's bad. All right. I'm trying to help somebody. Yes, yeah. Keep that heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Mm -hmm. Keep on reading here. Read it. Put away from thee a forward mouth and perverse lips put far from thee. Keep reading. Let thine eyes look right on. Read. And let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Wait, wait a minute. Look here. That is truth though there. Look at the truth. Don't look at that other stuff. Don't even go that way. Right. What Your friend going to be trying to put you. Oh, child, you ain't that holy. You, you ain't that holy. Ain't nobody right. that holy. Right. They tricking you. Right. Read it. Ponder the path of thy feet. Read. And let all thy ways be established. Read it. Turn not to the right Turn hand. Turn not to the right hand. Nor to the left. Not to the left. Remove thy foot Remove from evil. Remove thy yes, foot from evil. Yes, sir. Now that's what a saint will do. Right. I'm helping somebody. Good. Psalms 119.63. Got it, Rico? All right. He got that one. Amen. Read it, Fox. 
I am a companion of all them that fear thee and of them that keep my precepts. Now, look, who, who do you deal with mostly? Wait a minute. When you leave here today, first day of the week, you go to the next first day of the week. These other six days, who do you spend most of your time with? Who do you spend the bulk of your time with in life? Now, don't tell me that you spend most of your time with sinful, crazy acting people just doing everything, and you come up here once on a Sunday here, and you're going to. And everything gonna be fine. You fooling yourself. You fooling yourself. Listen here. You really you fooling yourself. You being tricked. All right. Let's go. That's good. In well, as a saint's pay, a saint pleasure, his thrill. What do you love? What do you love? What do you love? Whatever you love, that's what you spend your money on. Whatever you love, that's what you spend your money on. And whatever you love, Nobody have to force you to do it. <clears throat> God's word has captured the saints full what? Affection. Affection. <laughs> Wait a minute. L listen to this. this. This is good preaching. Yes, See, people that love the truth and love the Lord, nobody have to beg them to come to service. No, sir. Oh, no. Nobody have to beg them... You going to you going to church today? You going to Bible class now? No, 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 no. Amen. And you know what? I'm learning. Boy, brother Philip, it learned, took me years to learn this. If you don't want it, I'm not gonna force it on you. Right, yeah, right, preacher. That's right. Man, that's right. Yeah. Lick your fingers right quick. Let me do this. <clears throat> Look at Acts thirteen forty six. Let me show you what I do. I learned this here. I learned this with my family members. I keep on, listen, I ain't going to waste all my time preaching to my family, remember? We got billions of people out here and want to be saved. You don't want to be saved? Well, I don't bother you. All right. Let, let, look here. Read it, Fox. Then Paul, then and, Paul and Barnabas waxed, waxed bold, bold and, and said, it was necessary, necessary that, that the word of God, God should be first have been spoken broken, unto you, but sin ye put, put it from you. Holy. You don't want it. You don't want no Bible class. You don't want what the Bible says. You don't want no worshiping God. You don't want to do right. That's You don't want that? All right. Read, Fox. And judge yourselves Wait unworthy. a minute. You, then you'll turn around since you turn it down. Oh, y'all judging. No, you're doing the judging. You're judging yourself. In other words, you are sending your own self to hell. Yes, sir. Seeing you judge yourselves unworthy of what? Everlasting, Everlasting life. life. What do we do? Lo, we turn to the Gentiles. I don't waste my time with kin people and nobody else. I find out you don't want the truth. I'm not wasting my time with you. Amen. Oh, no. Amen. Oh, no. Uh-uh. I'm not begging you to come to service. I'll encourage you. I'm not begging you. If you don't want to serve God and work, be with the saints, Go where you want to go. Sick and tired of begging people don't want the gospel. Amen. And there's a million people in this area never even heard it. They're dying for the gospel and you hear it all the time. Oh, I don't want to hear that. Well, don't come. Right. Amen. That kind of preaching run folks off. No, you run yourself off. That's good preaching there. Hey, Amen. What, what do you love? Somebody wait here. The Bible, God's word. Look at this black girl here. She's taking time out to read the Bible. Right. Who's making her do it? Who's making this black girl read the Bible? Who's making her? Who's got a gun on her? Open the Bible and read that. <laughs> you can't machine the gospel in a person. Right. They got a desire. Yes, right. 
And if you don't desire God's word, listen, go have yourself a time. Because you're going to go to hell either way. Because you don't want it. Old and young. Amen. I just left here, uh, Joe up here to uh, Leona Church of Christ and a uh, black man came up to me. He said, Brother Shannon, I didn't know that you preached to, wh preached to white people like you preached to the black people. Man, you hard on these white people. Boy, I said, I don't care nothing about what color these people Amen. are. Amen. What I care about that? Right. Well, they ain't not going to have you back. Big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Well, I got to preaching there. One little white lady come up to me, Brother Shannon, I love you so much. I said, well, why, what's, what's going on? You the first preacher come here that's got my grandkids seeing that they lost. And they told, listen, you know, grandmama, our other grandmama and granddaddy, they lost because they're not in the church. But I did my job. And she said, oh, Brother Shannon, we just love you so much. And then she said, well, you know what? I got to preaching like that. Uh, Marie, you know what happened? Uh, five men were restored. Come, when they, when, they're not like we are. When, when they repent, when they come forward, they cry. All of them are crying. Come up front crying. Crying like a baby. And then had two baptisms. But what happened? Look here, they left out the building, come back, and, and said, you know what? That man is just, listen here, from what he said, I'm lost. They turned and said, let's turn around and go back. Came back to the building, I waited on them, baptized in Christ. Look here, you, oh, no, I ain't cutting up. I ain't going to slide. I know Brother Shanks used to preach like this. And some of you folks here been around here a long time. Brother Shanks was a hard preacher. Let me tell you something about David Shanks. David Shanks kept me from messing up. I was young, had a lot of crazy stuff in my head, and he stayed on me like a duck on a June bull. I don't know, look like every sermon, every time I thought about doing something, he would get up that Sunday and preach on it. I ain't told him nothing. He was just preaching the word. <laughs> he said, he always, I said, he always, I never did tell nobody, Mike. I said, he always messing on me. But guess what? He kept keeping me out of hell. Right, I'm helping somebody here. Yes, sir. I'm helping somebody who's going to watch this DVD. Right. Right. Somebody needs to say it. What do you love? Now, look, here's a man right here, white man with his baby, reading the Bible, studying with him. Will you do that with your children? How many times you black men have had your kids and turn, turn the light on, sit down here, and let's read the Bible together? How many of you black men done that? If you're a saint, you ought to do it. Amen. Hey, man, that's good, isn't it? Amen. Oh, I got a few minutes here. That's pretty good, isn't it? God's word have captured the saints full of it. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. That's what he loves. Right. He delight in the law of the Lord. He delight in the law. Do you enjoy reading the Bible? Yes, sir. Do you enjoy reading the Bible? Yes, if you don't enjoy reading the Bible, I can't help you. You got to want it. Amen. Hey, man. Amen. Let, me tell, let me tell you something. I seen guys say, well, hey, I ain't going to no Bible class, but I'm going to take this medication. And tell me what he like. Nobody, the doctor ain't got to keep telling him to take that medicine. Why? Because he know if he don't take that medicine, he know he out of here. Right? right? Yeah. You don't take God's medicine, you out. Yeah. God's word has claimed what? The saints full what? Attention. attention. Does God's word get your attention? Oh boy, this is good. Isn't it? And, and in his law, do it he meditate. meditate. Day and night. Oh, that good. Wait, wait a minute. Does a day go by that you don't study God's word? Mm -hmm. I'm helping somebody. Let me come down here and look. I'm not even looking now. Look at Joshua 1, 8. You all with me? Mm -hmm. but, but see, I can't make, if you don't want it, I can, I'm just trying to encourage you. This is what a saint would do. Why? There's a few more days. Be time for the judgment. We're going to leave this world. We're out of here. 
this is a dressing up room to go to the other side. Right. That's all it is. Right. Now, if you're getting mad at me because I'm telling you, listen, we need to dress up because once you leave here, ain't no coming back. Right. It's a dressing up room. Amen. Pretty good? Amen. Everybody here want to go to heaven. True, we want to go, right? Amen. And we just want to get the stuff all together here. Right? Yeah. right? We want to check one another out. Right. Uh, I see top back here. It was a jump master in, in the paratroopers. He knows about checking each other out. Stand up, hook let, hook up, check static line. Wait a minute, what do you mean? We check each other out. Why? Because we're getting ready to go out of the airplane here. We don't need nothing to lose, Mike. Right. Wait a minute, you got to have watch me. I'm watching you. We got to watch each other. Right. Why? Because we're getting ready to jump out of this airplane, and if things don't work, you can't come back and get another one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? When we leave this world, you ain't coming back and scrape nothing out. Right. It's over. We got to watch each other back. Watch it. Uh, Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah, no, Joshua 1 8 said, What, Fox? Read it. This book of the law. The book of the law. Shall not depart out of thy mouth. Read it. And thou shalt meditate, meditate therein, therein day and night. Day and night. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written herein. Read it. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Holy. You want to be prosperous? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let God tell you something. See, when you read the Bible, that's the way God talked to us. Listen here, God don't talk to us no other way than through the Bible. We always want to talk to God, but we don't want to hear nothing he got to say. We can't be like that. Look here. Make thy way proper. And what else? And then what? And, and what? Good success. And, and what? And, and, then. And, and, and then when? And then thou, thou shalt have, have what? Good, good, good success. Good. Good success. <laughs> Good, isn't it? Amen. The word of God will save you. It'll separate you and it'll sustain you. Mm -hmm. That's good? Amen. Are you satisfied with the word? Good, let's go on down here. We're going to try to finish this up. Here. A saint, prosperity, mm -hmm. his treasure. Right. That's good, isn't it? Okay, we, we, when you think of trade, we always think about something physical. Right. Eternal life is some of the greatest stuff we could ever have. Right. Spiritual blessing, greatest blessing we can have. Let's watch this here. A saint's, watch it, prestige, stick out. Boy, that's good. Isn't it? Amen. You want to stick out? You want to be prestigious? Don't go over here. Go in there. Right. Look at this here. And he shall be, I, I liked it, I studied this tree this morning. Look, and he shall be like a tree. Look at that, uh, Mackenzie. Look at a tree. He sticks out. A tree, stick out. Right. Stick, you don't see no tree down in the ground. You see it sticking out. Right. It serves a lot of purpose. Right? right? <laughs> that pretty good? Position, situated, is planted. Saints are planted. Uh, you're saying that Jane Road, that means you're planted. You're planted by the rivers of water. What rivers of water? God's word. Fountain, amen. Good. Watch this here. Power. What is that? Station. Station by the rivers of water. I just thought about that. Here's the rivers of water here. And that tree is by that River of water there. Look at that. Look here. Do y'all know anything about a tree? Y'all know anything about a tree? Mm -hmm. Only God can make a tree. Right. When it's hot, it'll give you shade. Yes, sir. That's right. Somebody say amen. amen. Now let me ask you here. When saints get hot and mad, can you shade them and help them out? Amen. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Come on now. When a saint get hot, can you shade them and help them out? Keep them from burning up. Good. Talk to them to somebody. Is that pretty good? Uh, from the leaves of a tree. Now watch this here. From a leaves of a tree, you can make medicine. Yes, sir. Right? When you're sick. From the leaves of a tree, you can make medicine from the tree. That, that, come on, somebody say amen. amen. Now wait a minute. As saints, listen here. Are you like a leaf? 
What do you mean like a leaf? There's a lot involved in a leaf. Can you help somebody? Amen. Somebody sick, can you help them? Hey, you Amen, somebody. Is that right? And when you are old, you can make a walking stick out of a tree. <laughs> Talk to me, somebody. Is that pretty good? Right here. Children get out of line. Amen. Uh, it'd be used for a switch. <laughs> Amen. Is that pretty good? Amen, Amen somebody. Cut it down and send it through the meal from the tree. Uh, there are many things that you can build. You can build a house. You can build a church. And you can build, if you are crippled, watch it, you can use it for a stick. Now, wait a minute. Now, all that stuff I just said about the tree, saints ought to be able to do that as saints in the church. Amen. It ought to be helpful. Amen. I see Sister Jeta back there helping Sister Jones. I says, Joan, what a walker there. Right. Sister Jeter don't need it. But she got a lid in her hand. She right. helping her out. Right. Can we help one another? Amen. Are we sitting around and say, well, you know what? She done got old. She can't hardly make it. Get up and help her. Right. Amen. That's what saints do. Right. They help people. Amen. Right. Amen. Pretty good? Amen. Watch this here. Watch this here. A saint is productive, productivity, serving. Watch it. That bring it forth his fruit. See this tree here? Listen to this. Look at this. This tree will never produce fruit if there ain't no water there. Right. Yeah, man. The water of life is God's word. Amen. You're not going to produce nothing if you ain't got the word of God in you. Right. Amen. Amen. That's good, isn't it? Pretty good. Watch this here. Watch this here. The period stages in his seasons. Season. What season? You got a young age, you got a middle age, and Sister Water, you got an old age. Look at that. Sister Crump, you follow me? Sure you follow me. See that? My mother, 93. Be 93, right? She's still hanging on, right? Look, 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 look at here. In his season. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me you young and you ain't doing nothing? Middle age and ain't doing nothing? If you get old, ain't been doing nothing, you ain't been exercising, you ain't ever been doing anything. That's why I got to do all I can now. Wait a minute, I got to do all I can now because one of these days, I won't be able to get in no pulpit. I won't be able to preach, I won't be able to teach, may not even know my name. Amen, I tell my kids and grandkids, telling you, it can happen. Hey, talk to me, somebody. That's, I'm talking about stuff for real. Stuff can happen to you in life. Well, you can't do nothing like you did when you were young. So, amen. Do all you can for God in the season. Because it's going to come a time you ain't going to be able to do nothing. Then raise your hands and say, Lord, I thank you. Can't do nothing else. Then Lord, understand. Perseverance, stay. His leaves shall not wither. What? Why? You know why the lead won't with her? Because he by the water. By the word. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. That good? Then prosperity, success, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Oh boy, he's situ situated. That pretty good situated, amen, by the water. Is that right? Look at this. Watch this. Separated from the world, satisfied with the word, and situated by water. Now lick your fingers real quick and go to Jeremiah 17, 7 and 8. Is that all right? Amen, Amen somebody. Let's go on down here now. All right, Fox, what did it say? Blessed is the man that trusts in the I mean, Lord. Let me tell you something. You go through life, you better trust in the Lord. Amen. Look here, when you're young, you better trust in the Lord. Because a lot of times when you're young, you think that you're doing this on your own. You missed it. It's God. Through him and in him, we live move and have our be. All our help come from the Lord. Amen. Look what it says. But, look here. But is the man, blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord. Uh -huh. Watch it. And whose hope the Lord is. Wait a minute. My hope ain't at James Road. I'm going to do what I can, but my hope is in the Lord. Amen. 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 That's the next verse. Read it. For he shall be as a tree. That, that Jeremiah said 
Say it be what? As a tree. Out of what? Tree. What? Planted by the water. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's what David said. Yes, sir. Look at what Jeremiah said. Yes, sir. Read it. And that spreadeth out her roots by the river. Wait, wait a minute. See, you, you, buy, you, spread, you spread your roots out by the river. Why are you spreading the roots out? Because you can get nourishment. Where you can grow and be productive. What else does it say? And shall not see when he cometh. What, shall not what? See when he cometh. Wait, 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 wait a minute. When he comes. So when it's hard on you, can't hardly see. Mm -hmm. Amen. Keep reading. But her leaf shall be green. Oh, oh, oh. Brother, Brother Fetty, you liked it. You see him over there, Joe. He going to preach it. <laughs> leaf going to be what? Green. Are your leaves green? Do you have, on, on this tree, do, are your leaves green or are they dead? When, you, when, a, when the leaves are dead, that means, what? Is it a falling year? If it's in a hot summer, your leaves ain't got no business being dead. They, in the spring, they ought to be green. Yep. Read it. And shall not be careful in the year of drought. Wait a minute. What do you mean careful? I ain't worried. Right. When, when the drought comes, look here. It can get real hot out there. Talk to me, somebody. Get real hot. Grass dying, but the roots of a tree go way deep down where the water is. That's the way it is with saints who are deep in the word of God. When things get bad, they shine. Yes, Amen, somebody. Then what it say? Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Wait a minute. Never stop yielding fruit. Talk long enough. I didn't think I'd finish that. That good? You want to be a saint? Maybe you're here and you're not a saint. All of the saints are in Christ. Right? Jesus Christ, watch it. We are saints in Christ. Do you believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God? That he died on Calvary's cross, shed his blood, purchased the church? Do you believe that? Are you willing to repent of your sins? Confess Christ as the Son of God? Be baptized in water for the remission of sin? And the Lord would ask you to the church, you'll be a saint. Watch it. Now, since you're a saint, Watch us here. Go ahead and shine as a saint. Amen. If you hear, and that's your decision, uh, do it as together we stand and sing. We certainly hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. Thank you as always, and God bless you. Amen.